Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. I hope everyone is doing great. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to review an app called Vivaldi. And this is a mobile web browser. Uh, it is the Vivaldi browser is not only limited to mobile phone browsing, but they also support Windows, Mac. Uh, it's, I believe Mac is also being supported and Linux OS distributions. Now I have installed the app from Play Store and the same is available in the Play Store and I will post the download link for the app in the description below of this video. Now I have installed the app onto my mobile phone and this is how the initial launch setup looks like. So it is giving you a couple of choices to select from as an initial setup. So first of all, if you want the tracker and ad blocking, I'm not going to talk to you about what trackers and ad blocking is since it is not an interesting topic. Anyway, I prefer to block the trackers and ad. So I'm going to select this. And secondly, you are asked to make a choice of tab style which you want to use in this particular browser. So basically, if you prefer to keep it in tab style or um, same like the Chrome's and all, uh, Google Chrome and all tab switcher. So I prefer to keep it in tab style since I just want uh, it to look a bit different. So I'm sick of seeing the tab switcher mode. So I have moved for the tab style. If you really want to use the good old fashion method, you can really use tab switcher. So I have selected um, tab style. So there are some color choices which are available to you. Either you can go for a light mode or a dark mode. I prefer to keep it system default. So if I once I enable the dark mode uh, for my system, the app also switches to dark mode automatically. So if I try to keep it in light or dark, it doesn't affect it. So finally, yeah, do we agree with the end user license agreement? Of course, I do agree with it and I'm, I'm not going to read um, a lot of pages of uh, rules and regulations and stuff like that. So let us click on start browsing. Fine. So this is how the, um, the initial uh, or the landing page really looks like. So this is how the browser feels to you in your uh, initial or into the landing page. Really the, um, the bookmark links are being um, put in a nice way. So yeah, that is great to see. And um, likewise, I have told you, I have enabled the tab style switching. So basically what really happens is, yeah, you get to have <laughs> tab styled uh, switch page views so this is really fantastic since yeah it is a bit different and none of the browsers are really having the same future i believe um, firefox is offering but um, i haven't used firefox for a quite long time so i really do not know so what we are going to do next is we are going to click on the uh, Vivaldi icon over here next to the uh, address bar and we will try to see what all settings they are offering. So basically there is a synchronizing option that is available. So if you are using uh, the same browser on uh, on your desktop computer and you really want to synchronize the browsing history, the passwords and you know a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to really do that, you can really do that. And the second thing is the default search engine in this particular browser is Bing. So you need to change that to Google. This is the... Uh, modern day encyclopedia or everyone uses google i don't even see or hear people using bing or yahoo yeah even yahoo is there right yeah yahoo is there i mean heard or don't use that so yeah no for, no problem so if you really want to allow search suggestions in the address field you really can do uh, do it so basically what it happens is you type in google and it will give you like google.com so yeah uh, these kind of things you are familiar in chrome um, if only if you even enable it such a thing is going to happen so if you really want to have the search suggestion stuff please make sure that you enable the option the next one is passwords you can really save passwords but i don't i don't prefer this password payment method addresses and more i don't really prefer to be saved on the browser even though people are telling that our browser is safe you can do a lot of stuff still no it is better to keep it as it is language settings so yeah 
this is the page where you can um, you can uh, you can uh, set the language so yeah um, other than that there is uh, there are nothing new or nothing very uh, important within the settings page you can really set the address bar at bottom this you can do that if you are traveling or say by uh, like you are um, you are just walking or i don't know you are doing something and you are using your mobile in uh, in your uh, using by one hand and really setting the uh, the address bar at bottom would help you to type out easily so yeah this is something uh, that you really know yeah here look i can type in google easily since i'm using um using it by one hand so yeah here we are in the um, search engine really this browser is really good because it is easy to scroll i mean the scrolling is very smooth on this browser and the loading speed is pretty much fast let us search for an another website okay fine manorama fine so yeah here we are malayalam manorama let us load the news site i'm sure that yeah the the news page loaded in a jiffy it was it was pretty uh, pretty fast and you can really scroll down the pages without any trouble without any graphical glitches or without any 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 stutters and stuff like that so this is really awesome the browser is very very much optimized so this is about vivaldi browser i hope you have enjoyed the video and please make sure that you stay subscribed to this channel for more apps and reviews and one more final uh, what do i think about the browser the browser is pretty much good the browser is awesome they have recently launched the vivaldi browser and they have uh, they really did a great job in the um, in developing the app and in making the app look awesome so um if you are fed up with the chrome firefox opera blah 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 definitely you can give a try to vivaldi browser and they are offering that your data is safe we are not uh, not taking any data from you so if you really want to have a safe browser if you really want to have a different browser than of chrome you can really uh, give a try on vivaldi and thank you very much for watching the video i hope you have enjoyed the video and please make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel thank you very much